Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a bit. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. Yo, do me a favor, man. If you're trying to get the easiest and cheapest mutt coins on the market, do your boy a favor and head over to easymutt.com and use the code form for 5% off all your mutt coin needs, man. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back. Why I do that, man? Well, skip it, nigga. <laughs> Ran the fire on the one time. As you can see, man, uh, look, before we get into the video, I poured this off stream. So I apologize that the quality ain't what y'all used to. Um, as y'all know, your boy quality, A1. I upload in 4K. So if you are not watching my videos in 4K, all you do, hit the video, hit the uh, the tool icon, and you can bring up what quality you want to watch my videos in. You can watch them up to 4K. If you want to watch my shit in 720, you can. 1080p, cool. 1440, all right. 4K, mm-hmm. So for all you be saying, like, man, bro, the quality, you a stupid little dummy, bro, and you don't understand that it's you and it's not me because you can watch my joints up to faux kizzy because that what I upload. If you... <laughs> Let's get to this gameplay, y'all. So look, man, I pulled this from off uh, the stream because we ran into a sweat. Another strong, close sweat. Um, I hate strong, close. In it. It's a beautiful offense. I just personally hate it because what the fuck was that? I hate, I hate, I think it's a ghost in here. I hate it just because everybody running, bro. And it's so annoying to stop. So as soon as I seen this and I seen fam knew how to run it, I say, oh, okay. And the craziest part is he has the bucks too. You know what I'm saying? So I bopped out with Washington. I need my playoff rematch. You know what I'm saying? If Washington would have had me at defensive and offensive coordinator, maybe y'all could have did a little something, something. But it's already tough because you have Hot Route Master, so you got to walk in custom, bro. And literally, Fam ran one play the whole game. That drive feed, that whatever that, that play he ran, and he just he just made a doubles with Hot Route Master, and it was a pain in the butt. Uh, this particular stream, we particularly good goddamn game. This particular stream, we bopped out with nothing but Washington football team all day. You know what I'm saying? My boy Alexi Smith didn't get to play in the offs as he breaks the tackle right there. So we like, you know what? We're going to get out here in these streets, and we're going to clap cheeks. Uh, this was Sunday. I want to say we went, I think, 11 or 12 and 0. We had a man. As always, bro, if y'all not in my streams on the weekend on YouTube, y'all missing out, bro. We stream on the weekends on YouTube during the week on Facebook. All my info is in my description. Check it out as he hits the angle route, which was a pain. Then boom, boom, to get the running niggas over. Question for the stream. Look. We had this conversation in stream, so I'm going to comment down below. When y'all get out the shower, do y'all lotion y'all whole bodies? I'm going to explain why, but let's get to this right here. So first down, first to go, I'm like, cool. I'm coming out. I'm like, all right, I'm going to play everything underneath. I'm going to put my uh, middle sub linebacker. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the mid read to play anything uh, towards the back of the end zone. We got the block shed right there. Anything medium towards back of the end zone. You know them in route dudes love. As my quality just takes a dump. Ugh. And then I'm going to lurk everything else. So right there, third and goal, we get to stop. I'm thinking he's going to take his three. Because that's what a smart person would do. Let me cover up for him. But fam decided not to do that. He decided to go for it. And this is one of those early plays of the game. Like, if you get this... It puts you in such a beautiful, beautiful position. 
So instead of coming out in his strong clothes, he comes out in iPhone. I know stretch is coming. I shoot over there uh, with the user and we wrap up, which is clutch. Because if y'all know next gen, even current gen, they break hella, hella, hella five tackles, bruh. So we setting up the adubles for our offense. But look, back to what I was saying. Do y'all lotion your whole body when y'all get out the shower? Comment down below if you do. And I ask this question because there are people in my stream that will go nameless because they would not admit it that lotion up their hands. If you a man, only places you should lotion up, arms, legs, you know what I'm saying? Maybe neck a little bit. But lotion it, but it but lotioning up the yams, fam. Comment down below, but bruh, keep it a stack. I'm not here to make fun of y'all, bro. I just want to know what's the logic behind lotioning up the yams. And I'm gonna tell you how we got on that subject as I start to matriculate. Oh, look, quick, quick pause. Watch the defense dude run. He had the most unique defense I had ever run into on Madden. He's sending heat out of 4-3 under. Sam Blitz, y'all should know, I ran that all Madden 20. That was my defense. What he's doing is he's usering Barrett on the line because the user is really good. So the Blitzer is Devin White. So what he's going to try to do is bull rush. He's going to try to bull rush me. So either uh, White comes clean off the line because he's taking like one or two people when he bull rush. And then either he's going to scream or Dev White going to scream. Uh, it was the craziest defense I've run against. Like, I can see why it would be effective. Even though, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm adjusting. I'm figuring it out and everything. He's not going to use her. So, I'm going to have stuff open all across the field. But that blitz screamed, bro. And I'm telling you, if you're a D-line user, you give out hell this game, bro. On current, on next gen, you are hell. Because you shed so quickly. But look, so I'm going to get back to telling y'all why I asked this question. So one day I was making a video, right? And y'all know in some of my videos, I leave probably like the last couple minutes unedited if it's a really, really good video. So that's what I did. I left probably the last two minutes of the video unedited. So I got up. I'm like, yo, appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Get at y'all. I'm out. I got up to walk away to go. Look, look, you see how he bull rushes me? Knocks over two people, and then we pick up Smith, but the other lineman all, almost comes in. So I go, I get up, and I go to the, um, I don't remember if I went to the bathroom to go get open the door or something. So I'm editing the video. Some tell me, yo, form, check the end of the video, even though you're going to leave it unedited. Because I usually don't. I check the end of the video. What I had on shorts, when, when I tell y'all, when I got up, bro, the, my because, you know, my gaming chair is leather. Like, the, my shorts got, like, stuck against the leather. When I stood up, bro, full yametry on display. And my booty was ashy. Because I don't lotion it. Like, why would I lotion my yams? That don't make sense, bro. You know you lotion up yams? You know what I'm saying? Cheeks. I'm going to start calling them cheeks. But that was, so, I was asking people in the stream, because they was like, it was ash. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm not... Not lotion in my cheeks. What I look like, grown man, get out the shower, get the lotion in up my cheeks. And like, I'm a nigga, I, I enjoy, I, I, I'm i lotioned up out here in these streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? Johnson and Johnson, baby lotion. It, it do wonders. It's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if we low on funds, we go, we go hit a family dollar, get some cocoa butter. But, like, I'm not lotioning my yams. And if a dude lotion his yam, it's so wild to me, bro. I don't understand it. I low-key feel like my wife would look at me differently if she came in the house and I was, I'm going to ask her. Baby. All right, so look, scenario. Say if you come in the house and then I had just got out the shower. And then when you walked in, I'm in the bathroom. I mean, I'm in the bedroom. And I'm lotioning up, and then I'm, I'm I'm lotioning up my booty. Wouldn't that be weird? Yeah, you lotioning. I told you, bro. Dudes not supposed to lotion up their cheeks. Girls can. Girls can do it, but dude, you 
your cheeks supposed to be ashy, bro. Unless you sweat or something. But that's wild. But other than that, bro, cheek lotion ain't the move in these streets. So y'all comment down below, bro, and, and let me know. If you if you a cheek lotioner, you wild for that. You wild for that, bro. But yeah, that was uh one of the primary conversations in the stream. I don't know how, like, I know how we got there, but we always get to really, really awkward parts in our streams. Really awkward conversations, bro. So if you not in there, you low-key, you missing out on just good combo. Good, good combo. But let's uh, get back to this game. As you can see, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, he chewed up a large portion in the first quarter. I'm on bumpers trying to go down here and score because I get ball I have. So if I'm able to score right here as I hit my check down, it puts me in prime position. Like, I want seven. I'll take three because I got a turnover. And the thing new, uh, we're going to start right here, G. I want, I want, I want seven. And like I was saying, the thing to good content and good Madden is capitalizing off turnovers. You got to be able to do that, bro. If you can capitalize, oh, my content went back A1 a little bit. But yeah, if you can do that, bro, as I miss B in the back of the end zone, but I wasn't going to hold on to the ball that long, to be honest, bro. In the red zone, I'm hitting my check downs. I got to make sure I get points because usually if you throw a pick in the red zone, for the most part, it's going back for seven. Very, very rarely does someone throw a pick and that dude gets seven because the defense is already like playing. I don't know if this is the right terminology, but they're already playing like downhill. So they trying to jump something. So usually when they get that peak, especially if it's somebody in the secondary, it's to the crib. So coming out, you know, somebody about to go to the power row. Low key, the, one of the best runs in the game, especially if you need a yard or two or if you're going against somebody who has run, inside run stuff. Nah, it didn't look like the best run right there. I'm going to keep it a stack. So I'm going back. I'm going to like, you know what? I'm going to go to uh, inside zone right here. He doesn't have inside run stuff. He does have Shaq right there, but he's more of a pass rush uh, DE. So right here, I boop, boop, fire that thing in the back of the end zone. If you see a linebacker and your receiver has about four to five yards space of four to five yards of space behind them, throw the ball. The linebacker's not gonna make a play on it. And I, even Levante David has lurker. Linebackers don't make plays on ball like safeties do. They don't get the jumping animations. That's not Madden this year. And low-key wasn't even Madden in Madden 20. You got better animations. Actually, Madden 20, you didn't get no animations if you wasn't up close. This year, you can actually jump. And safeties play the ball extremely well, as I'm thinking they do in real life. But right here, I'm setting up my zone drops. I'm going 25, 5, and 10 right here. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he want to move the ball upfield. Now, those are not my adjustments in his regular strong close. It's just the adjustments I got now because I don't want him to move that ball up in just two plays. I'm playing a little bit more condensed because I'm noticing and I'm, I'm kind of getting my reads down. You know what I'm saying? Like people who, him, Tampa Bay, with this, um, as I you see, I bail out towards that post route. But Tampa Bay with strong close makes me feel like Fam is a mutt player who decided to play a regs game. Just based off the way that he's playing. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to, you want to give your game that mutt feel, it felt like. Because strong close, I don't feel like you can just run that with any squad with no abilities. <clears throat> New Orleans, because you got Camara with the backfield joint, like you want the anger route. Like it's just, it feel like certain teams you will only run strong close with. So coming out, we get the big hit on ball right there. You already know we loves we loves the big hits, and we gonna uh, get back out here and try to get seven, bro. If we can get seven right here, go up fourteen nothing. 
then we really gonna cripple, fam. And as soon as I say that, I turn my headphones on and I get going to the Chris Hill. My boy Gibson, don't know his first name, don't care. Baby Marshawn Lynch right there. We get the truck if I 80 plus on him. I think I didn't see what like yard line I was on him, keep it a stack. But we get the truck if I a uh, good 75 plus, you know what I'm saying? Into the end zone, quick 14 nothing lead. That's extremely, extremely important for us because based off his offense, it's one of those annoying dink and dunk joints where he's not looking to get 50, 60 yards a pop. He perfectly fine with 8 to 10. If you give up that corner route 15, if you come out and cover two and you don't deep third or a cross man might, then he'll hit you over the top. He's not playing like uh, we playing it. He's not playing really crossers on the field. As I, as I said, he's staying in that one formation. He got to drag the angle, the deep corner, and the post route. I would have preferred he had a little bit crossers because, I, you know what I'm saying, because then I felt like it had been a little bit more spaced out. Like, he had these routes in such close proximity. Like, I just felt so much pressure on my user to make a play. Y'all know me. I'm stubborn, too. Like, if you dot me up, I'm not getting out that formation. I could go to something. A little bit more conducive. Look at this. Look at this. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know what I was doing. I got caught making adjustments. But I could have gone to something more conducive. But I'm stubborn. So right here, I'm making my adjustments. I moved everything to 15, 0, and 5. I put my purples on 0. But, bro, I don't know about y'all. But Collins on Washington, bro, don't be making the plays like I be wanting to. So, as you can see, I'm getting close. I just need Moreland to come down a little bit more in this cloud flats. Like, I don't know why he's backing up, but, you know what I'm saying? I need him to come down a little bit more. We back in the red zone where I stopped him. I was so close. And look at the running back just running me over, bro. Let me know if running backs break too many tackles for y'all. But that drive, I felt good. Like, even though Fam drove down and got seven, I felt good because I felt like I made him hold the ball a little bit longer on his reads. First drive, even though I stopped him getting up the field, he was just getting that thing out real quick. Cause it, and if it's coming out too quick, that means I'm just leaving crazy holes in my defense. So I felt like on that second drive, even though he made good reads, you know what I'm saying, his post was never open. That drag route going from the left to the right was never open. It was just those three routes, that corner route, that flat out the backfield and that angle route. So, you know, man to man isn't really super fire this year. You know what I'm saying? On on next gen. So that was I had to stop it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stop it running zone. So I felt like I did a really good job of making him think a little bit more. But now I'm back with the Riz out. And it's time to get it popping. As you can see, like fam screaming. He's screaming, but we blocking, picking it up. We hitting our check downs. I'm low-key not really even having to switch it up much. I'm um, saying so we both just one playing it out here. I'm running like three plays, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to block my running back. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going. I'm, I'm staying in levels right now. No real, no real point for me to go. I'll mix it in the PA post, a.k.a. crossers. But crossers ain't like dumb fire on next gen. You know, it's decent. It's cool. As I should have thrown a pick right there, bro. But, you know, sometimes I make really stupid reads, reading chat, trying to interact and kick in. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Lock in. Man, my mouth dry. But, yeah, right here, I'm thinking I'm a streak because I know he in a deep blue. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still going to streak that side just in case. I need to mic block Gibson, and then I'm just going to hit my check down. But as you can see, he block shed it immediately. My running back caught his attention. Nigga, get back behind me. And then he got a free scream off the edge. Which was a little disheartening, you know. Like, if that's what he doing to dudes, he out here got people raging. Like, imagine if he's doing that with, like, a, a D lineman with, like, with like fear monger or something. As you can see, he screams again, but ugh, we go ahead and hit that, you know what I'm saying, that M route. Imagine doing that with Fear Monger and you just instantly shedding with Joey Bosa or somebody. 
and then he's screaming off the edge like that. Like this, like in the in, with the right team, even though he has to run with the Bucks, as I probably should have been going to the crib right there. Even though he probably does have to run with the Bucks because he needs that high route master. That's like that's crazy, bro. That could be crazy effective. The only negative about it, bro, is you sitting on the D lineman, man. And you have to rush the pass so well to get pressure. But meanwhile, the CPU is sitting ducks for me. I'm a I'm a dot them. I'm a big boy dots out here. I'm a dot them all up. And it is really nothing that they can do or you can do unless you're gonna go user. And then like he still can send the pressure. Without user in that D line, but like I be t I've been telling y'all for the longest, if you're next gen, if you are a D lineman, you can cause hell. Right there, I did not expect uh, Levante David to play that, so I got to settle for three. You know what I'm saying? As long as I get my multiple possession lead, I'm good. Strong close type I offense, like he real meticulous with moving the ball up the field, so I'm not putting too much worry in it. What if he go there? Oh, what if you do this? Ah, what I'm going to do? Like, I, I got his reads down. For me, it's about just making sure I put my user in the right place to get me one of these yickums. That's all me want. I'm not one of those dudes who, bl who uh, blitz 7, 8, 36 people to get pressure. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do that. So right here, I'm adjusting my zone drops. I thought I had them already to 15, 0, and 5. But... Apparently not. So that makes sense why my corner wasn't dropping, was dropping back as far as he was. So right there, as you can see, I missed the tackle, but I had the corner route bag. Um, I don't know why Collins didn't drop down to the flats, but as you'll see, I'm going to start manning Collins up. Right here, I put two purples on that side, and I didn't mean to. I meant to go deep blue, but my adjustments got messed up. And that corner route was wide open. But right here, as you can see, at we we Gucci. We Gucci. We get back, lay the big hit to the running back. I'm like, bet. I found my adjustments for strong close. We finna get this stop. I play it there. Collins does a really good job that time because I had to man him up. A stand with Jones out the backfield. And, you know what I'm saying, stick him with him. I drag him out so he immediately goes to pick him up. And boom, we yick him up right there. Even if he got hadn't got hit, that was going to be a pick because I was there. I just baited like I was going to get the corner, waited for my zones to pick him up. Once I passed him over, jumped that, and my man quits out. Great game. I actually had to stop talking to Chat and sweat because I wanted to bag that, man. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay.